In this video we're going to talk about dilations. Dilations are another form of a transformation, so some way that we can move a point to a different point. Dilations are seen like this. They are a capital D. We're going to always see an O or a zero there. And then we're going to have a value K. So this value right here is always going to change. And it's going to be a number. So for example, D0, 2. That's our new K value. If that K value is greater than 1, or equal to one. I mean, I don't know why you would want it equal to one, but if it was greater than one, then we're going to have what's called an expansion. And an expansion is when we expand something, we make it bigger, we increase its size. So let's do an expansion. Let's start with A at 2, 3, B at negative 1, 3, and C let's put at negative four five so at two three plot our original a at negative one three plot our original b and at negative four five so let me go up there's our original c if we connect those points should have put b right there but oh well and we have ourselves a little triangle there. In order to do dilations, in order to expand our triangle, make it bigger, what we have to do is multiply our k value by each x and y value. So to do a dilation, we'll take x and y and we'll multiply our k to each one of those. So x times k and y times k. x times k, that's an x. x times k and y times k. So 2 times 2 is going to give us a dilated. 2 times 2 is 4. That's our new x value. Now we got to do y times k. So 3 times 2, that's 6. So our new uh, point a is at 4, 6. A expanded or A dilated. Let's do B. So negative 1 times K. Negative 1 times 2. That's negative 2. Then 3 times 2, which is 6. So negative 2, 6 is right here. It's B dilated. And then C dilated is going to be negative 4 times 2, which is negative 8 and 5 times 2, which is 10. So negative 8, 10 is right here, and that is C dilated. And hopefully when we connect the dots, you can see that our triangle grew and it became twice its size. Also notice that the distance away from each axis this distance from the point to the y-axis was 1, but when we doubled it, it was 2 away, so twice as far. Also the distance to the x-axis. This is 3 away from the x-axis. When we dilate it by a factor of 2, it becomes 6 away, so twice as far away from the x-axis as well. And each of those points does the exact same transformation. And that's how we grow things on a coordinate plane. Uh, next, let's talk about how to shrink things or how to contract them. So contractions are when we shrink things. Again, we're going to see our D, and you're going to see it in that form. And luckily, contractions happen the exact same way. We're still going to take our x and we're going to multiply it by k and we're going to take our y and multiply it by k. So whatever this value is, we're going to multiply our x and y values. But the difference with the k value is rather than being greater than 1, it's going to be less than 1. It's 
going to be a fraction. So here is a dilation of one half or a contraction of one half or you can just think that our figure, whatever it is, is going to be half as big or half the size or half the distance. So let's do some points here. A, let's put at negative six, negative six. B at negative six, four. And C at two, four. So negative six, negative six. It's A. B is negative six, four. It's B. And C is at two, four. Two, four. Let's connect our points. And now we got a triangle, so when we dilate it by a factor of one half, or if we contract it by one half, our uh, new triangle should be half as big. So again, multiply whatever k is, whatever that value is right there by each of our x and y values. So a contracted is going to be half of negative 6, which is negative 3. And another half of negative 6, so again negative 3. So negative 3, 3 is right here, that's a. Again, half of negative 6, so negative 3. Half of 4 is 2. So negative 3, 2. It's B contracted. And C is half of 2, so 1. And half of 4, which is 2. So C dilated is at C, let's see, 1, 2 right here. connect our points and we can see our triangle is half as big as the original and also likewise each distance from the point to each of its axes is half the distance as well so that's one way that you can check um, also notice that uh, nothing got turned nothing got rotated in a dilation all that changes is the size of something so the slopes are always the same. All that happens is the distance away from each axis the points are. But if we have a dilation of a negative number, it's going to do an inverse image. So it's going to be like something got flipped all upside down. So let's see what happens if we do a dilation of a negative number. So let's do a dilation of negative 3. Let's do A, B, and C again. Negative 1, negative 1, negative 1, 2, and 1, 3. Let's plot our original points, so negative 1, negative 1. Uh, B is at negative 1, 2, and C is at 1, 3. Connect our points. And let's do a dilation of a negative number. So our K is now less than 0. Um, so A dilated. Again, we multiply it the same way. So this value times each of our X and Y values. Negative times a negative is a positive, so negative 3 times negative 1 is 3. So there's our A. Negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3 again. 2 times negative 3, a positive times a negative is a negative, so that's negative 6. 3 negative 6 is right there. And C, 1 times negative 3, negative 3. And 3 times negative 3, negative 9. So negative 3, negative 9. There's C. All right, let's connect our points and see what's going on here. 
Okay. So not only did our triangle grow three times bigger, but it was also inverse, so it was flipped. So the B got flipped over to the right side, the A went from the bottom to the top, and the C went from the top to the bottom. And it grew by a factor of three. So that's what negative uh, dilations do. Um, and the same thing can happen with a negative contraction. Um, it's going to start off bigger and get uh, smaller by whatever factor is dilated. Let's see just one more example just to see what it looks like. So let's do a negative contraction here. Let's do negative one third. So A, B, and C. Let's do negative nine, negative six negative 9 and 9 and negative 3 and 3 again plot your original points always where to start so negative 9 negative 6 is right there oops the original right negative 9 9 is right here and negative 3 3 is right there connect your points So we're starting with a large triangle. We're going to contract it by a factor of one-third, but we're also going to inverse it. So we're going to flip everything around. The B will be on the bottom, A will be on the top, and the C will go to the left side. Do the exact same way. Multiply each X and Y value by your K. So what is one-third, what is negative one-third, or the opposite of one-third of negative nine? Well, 9 divided by 3 is 3, and a negative divided by a negative is a positive, so positive 3. And what's 1 third of 6? A negative divided by a negative is a positive, and 6 divided by 3 is 2. So 3, 2 is A. And B, again, what's the opposite of a third of negative 9? 3. And this time, a positive divided by a negative is a negative, so 9 divided by negative 3 is negative 3. So 3, negative 3. And C. 1 third, or the opposite 1 third of negative 3. Negative divided by a negative. 3 divided by 3, positive 1. And the same thing except now we got a positive divided by a negative, so we get negative one. One negative one is right here. Alright, let's connect. Oops. There's our smaller triangle. It shrunk by a factor of one third. So it's three times smaller. And it got flipped all around. The A went to the top. B went to the bottom, and the C went to the left. Alright, so those are dilations, expansions, contractions, and the inverse of each.